Tracy Christine. But get your ass up, get to it. You know what, let's be honest. I really nut the fuck up. And it, it blows my mind that I am influential. A bitch is famous. You know what I'm What's goody, what's poppy, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Alright, y'all. I feel like I've been dropping content for you all back to back to back. But your girl has not hopped on here and officially give you all an update on her life. So that is what I am here to basically talk about for the next 10 minutes. Because the video is not going to be long. If you guys notice, I'm trying to keep all my videos at 10 minutes not too much more just because i'm just hopping back into the space and i don't want to overwhelm myself so if you are new here or have not seen my face in months or years i am tracy christine i am a plus size content creator i'm a business owner i am also a educator um that is just me all around so Let's just get into the update. Excuse my area. It is hot in Georgia. Okay. So, I don't think I ever announced on here that I did get married. Um, I got married April, really May of last year. May 13th to be exact is when your girl got wife. Um, We went down, got our marriage license, and we went to my pastor. And he did a small ceremony with um, us and my parents and that is how we did we kind of eloped in a way um if you guys know i have been with my husband for a going on five years this year i want to say it's gonna be five years this year or six years in april um that i have been with jamal so i am officially a wife so my last step is different now so i'm really excited about that but that is one update i know i have not shared here on uh youtube is that your girl's a wife period don't quote me but in other news i did um start teaching full-time this year i am a business education teacher um for 9 through 12. i am probably leaving teaching going into the new school year so i'll probably do a whole video on that about why i'm leaving the education field but I don't think it's for me. I think I am, I'm called to do more. Um, I think my heart and heart is truly entrepreneurship, business and marketing. So that is what I'm gonna pursue. I feel like I have the education just because I wanted to make sure I had a cushion for me and my family, which is my husband. Um, I just wanted to make sure I'm fully pulling my weight as a person, as a wife, as a friend. So I just wanted to make sure I was pulling all my cards because y'all know business is funny sometimes. And I also went through that funny phase of it's being funny. <clears throat> so I had to sit down and be realistic with myself. I had big girl bills. We have car note, house, uh, uh, car note, car insurance, rent, lights, gas, um, groceries, living. So I just wanted to make sure I had that cushion which sometimes I do regret that I just, you know, threw, threw the towel in and went and picked up a full-time job. But in some ways, I felt like I did was right and did the responsible thing I was supposed to do. So, I am teaching. I'm still teaching. I'm going to fulfill my contract up until May. It is still debatable if I'm going to come back or not. I don't know if I want to spend money um, in an industry that I don't think I'm going to stay in for a long run. A long run. So... That's that on education. It is up in the air. If you guys want me to do a whole video about being Gen Z, being a Gen Z educator, let me know in the comments. But yeah, so that is a career update. So a business update, I'm kind of just stagnant right now. I'm really not promoting my business. I'm really not doing what I'm supposed to do for my business. The business still has income. I still get orders weekly. Um, I'm not making six figures like I used to, but it's still something. And I feel like I'm not making the amount of money I used to, number one, because of the economy. Let's be real. People are penny pitching. They want to make sure they're spending their money on things that matter or things they feel like is useful for them. And the, the, the things that I sell, I don't feel like are needs. They're extreme wants. Um, so that could be another reason why 
Um, secondly, I don't promote. I don't go live like I used to. Y'all know I was an active bunny, honey. I was on Instagram live. I was on TikTok live. I was on live, living on live. I was posting consistently. I was even posting consistently on here at one point um, about my businesses and what I was doing and how I was going about doing things. So Tracy really did a whole 360 and sometimes I miss that part of me, um, that go getter, that girl, get your ass up, get to it. We got money to make. I really miss that part of me and I feel like I've kind of lost her just a little bit because I was chasing adulthood and just trying to maintain and not take all the risks that I used to take um, for business, and I just kind of threw my hands with it. Now, I do, since I'm not returning, uh, probably not returning back to education, this summer I'm going to take to figure out what I'm going to do. Starting in April, really, I'm going to get back on my shit because I have to. Um, it's in me. I feel it in me. It's boiling. It bothers me that I'm not doing what I need to do for my businesses, so... I got to put that fire on my own ass and get that shit popping. You feel me? So that is something I'm working on with myself. I'm also battling a lot of things that I probably will tell you guys later on the video. But I'm just going through it mentally. And your girl just trying to make it out the trenches. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. Like, just trying to make it out the trenches and live life to the best that I can every single day. So... That is a business update. Um, I do have House of 22. We do sell body oils. I will link that down there for you guys. As well as our jewelry is on that website as well. Um, I am probably going to start back wholesaling just bees, kind of like picking up here and there. So if I do have a website by the time this goes up, I will put that down there for you guys as well. But that is the update on the business. So let's talk about a health update. Um, it's really no update to give because I don't feel like I do what I need to do for my health. I battle with, do I want to go on a weight loss journey? How do I feel about that? How am I going to look? Am I going to be consistent? Those are things that run through my mind as a plus size woman. Even though I'm very comfortable in my skin to a certain extent, I don't feel like I need to have weight loss surgery. I don't feel like I'm too far gone to do it myself. I just need to trust in myself and do what I need to do. Um, If you guys don't know, I do have PCOS. So, that is also another thing that bothers my soul is that I do have PCOS. Me being a married woman, and we're going into our one-year anniversary in a couple weeks. People consistently ask us, when you guys having a child? When's the baby's coming? And I, and I kind of like freeze up or like, I really, you know what, let's be honest. I really nut the fuck up when people ask me shit like that. And that's just me being completely honest, excuse my language, but I nut the fuck up because... I don't want to tell you my business. It's not that we're not trying. We are a sexually active couple. Let's be real here. But I know deep down that I'm going to have to go a different route that my friends didn't have to go. All of our friends have children or kids, a child or they have children. I am the only friend out of both of my friend groups that, does, that doesn't have a child besides my friend, my coworker friend. He doesn't have kids, but he's a male. But all my female friends have a child or have children. And I don't. Or they have stepkids. And I don't. And I'm about to turn 27 in a couple weeks. And I was talking to my mom the other day. And my sister, uh, Natalie. And I was like, you know, sometimes it hurts me to my heart that I know I can't have that. <gasps> we're pregnant moment like i go in the bathroom pee on the stick and then boom there's the baby like i know that's probably not gonna be my my reality and it kind of hurts and it kind of sucks in a way and i've heard all these miracle stories about people getting pregnant with pcos i'm not saying i can't get pregnant but what i am saying is it's going to be harder for me to get pregnant than the average woman would know for fertility issues now once i found that out i kind of clammed up from going to the doctor so much um because it scares me True and true, it scares me and it bothers me. But that's something I'm going to have to get over, especially if I want to bring a healthy child into this earth. I have to do what I need to do for my health. And that's something that I battle with on a daily basis. Y'all may not see it all the time. Y'all probably like, girl, that is the most confident plus size girl I've ever seen. Like, try to be lit. I get that. But I have deep down, I don't even want to call them demons, but things that really bother me as a plus size woman. And a lot of plus size girls don't have no problems getting pregnant, babes. 
But this particular one, she might have some issues. So that is something that I'm definitely battling and dealing with deep, deep down um, in my soul. But your girl is fighting through. I'm just trying to push through. I'm trying to live day to day. Also, if you guys don't know, um, in my family, cancer runs really, really deep. Um, it really, really serious. My mom battled with cancer twice. And she has a, our family has a particular syndrome that goes through, um, you know, our genetics and things like that. So that's another thing I have to deal with is getting a colonoscopy at the age of 27. Baby, what? You don't have to get a colonoscopy until you like in your 40s or your 50s. But because of that genetics and they just want to make sure, you know, that your girl is A1. I got to get a colonoscopy in my 20s. I have to get an upper GI in my 20s. Like... Those are certain things that I feel like people don't really talk about so much on social media. Is the shit really be popping in real life? Like we make, y'all see these little one second videos, not one second, these one minute videos, the 50 second. Y'all not seeing the 24 hours, y'all not seeing the real shit. So it's like when y'all see stuff on social media from your favorite influencers, favorite content creators, like give us grace. We are human, babes. We go through things. If I don't respond to your comment, don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it blows my mind that I am influential. It blows my mind that I am somewhat an uh, influencer to some people. I just think I'm a regular ass person. Like, even when me and, we, me and my husband were on a date to um, the Trap Museum, like, a girl stopped me. She was like, oh my gosh, I follow you on TikTok. I was like, hey girl, she's like, let me get a picture. And I was like, a picture? A bitch is famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really gave that green light that, bitch, people watch you. Like, people be. Looking for you. Bitch, here I go. You know what I'm saying? But, like, so those are things that I feel like we battle with a lot um, as humans, as women, as content creators. But this video, I just want to give you guys an update on my life. I wanted to just give y'all, like, a real look at my personality because I feel like I kind of hide it a little much from social media just because I do work, you know, in the type of position I work in. I can't be... You know, Tracy, you know what I'm saying? I have to be, I'm, you guys see Tracy the professional, but I'm not, y'all don't see the real Tracy Christine. Like, I'm really a goofy ass person. I'm really so genuine. I'm so caring. Like, I'm I'm just that person for my friends. Like, you need something, I'm here. It's your birthday, bitch, we're throwing a party. We're doing something. Like, I'm that friend. And I don't show that a lot on social media. I just try to post my little shit and get off. Um, as y'all can see, I'm a potty mouth. But y'all don't really see that on TikTok and on Instagram. But this is Tracy Christine. <laughs> if you have not picked it up by now. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to your girl's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Join the fam. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at I am Tracy Christine. Follow me on TikTok at I am Tracy Christine. I'll have all my socials linked down in the comments for you all to go follow. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you made it this far, tell me a fun fact about you in the comments. Or you can just drop your name or where you're from. And I appreciate you guys for viewing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. <laughs> bye, y'all. But I'll be on it always, always